Commanders taking on the Colts. Colts favored by three. Over under on this one, 39 and a half. What are your thoughts here? I'm taking the Commanders. I, I trust Taylor Heineke more than I trust uh, Sam Ellinger, um, even with them being on the road. I, I think this is going to be an under game. Colts defense is good enough to keep Washington in check. I think Washington's defense is good enough um, to keep Ellinger kind of at bay here. So I think this is another another game where we're not going to see a whole lot of points played. Probably some sloppy quarterback play, right? It's going to be frustrating, and it's just going to be whichever defense can create turnovers at the right time. I think that puts – you know, they're going to set their offense up to, you know, score some easy points, and that'll be the difference. Yeah, Shaquille Leonard uh, looks like he's going to be back yet again in this one. So, uh, you know, playing a second game, which, you know, that could actually help this Colts defense. They seem to shore up and, and play much better defensively when he's actually on the field. Um, but that being the case, I'm, I'm right there with you. I don't trust Sam Ellinger at all. Um yeah, like we like you said on the Tuesday show, I think that they did Matt Ryan a little bit dirty, but uh, at the same time too, right? Matt Ryan was not taking care of the ball, wasn't finding a way to. Uh, yeah, it really just kind of a continuation of the quarterback play we saw take that one um, along there. So I'm going with Washington. I think that they've got you know they getting points. I think they win this one outright. I do like the under. I think that this is not going to be a high scoring game there. Sam Ellinger, I'm going to call for under 225 and a half passing yards. I think that he is going to be going to struggle um, in this one here. And typically when we see a changeover in quarterback happen, that's probably more likely to favor a guy like Paris Campbell or Alex Pierce uh, from that, because those guys tend to work a little bit more so in practice than what the number one wide receiver sees on that one. So uh, you know, until you see some of that, that chemistry and some of that changeover happen, I think with Pittman, I, again, I'm looking to, to pivot off of him if I've got a, a suitable candidate to pivot off of Michael Pittman. Yeah. Um, speaking of Paris Campbell, I'm taking the under 34 and a half. Uh, I'm just, I'm not buying it. Yes. They mm-hmm. might work more together, but at the end of the day, I think the Colts are really going to try and run the ball and lean on their defense. Um, I would, I, I don't see Sam Ellinger throwing it more or dropping back for like 25 pass attempts like that. I think that's his ceiling. Uh-huh. Like I don't see him over that of those 25 pass attempts. Do we really think he's going to complete more than 17 of them? No. But, okay. I mean, he's just going to be checking down. I, I, I should have looked at the Mo Alley Cox line for receptions. Cause I think he's the guy who might end up with like six or seven receptions this game. <laughs> 